Hey guys, welcome to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today I'm doing something a little different. Today I'm cooking ribs and I decided to take you guys along on this journey while I cook these on my Green Mountain Grill. Yeah, a little bit different for the channel, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so this is definitely a store-bought rack of ribs here, so hopefully I can make these taste pretty good. Just a disclaimer, I am not a professional, so um, I do not compete, and I do not by any means think I am an expert at cooking ribs. This is just some fun I'm having, testing out a new recipe, and we're going to see how it goes. I'm gonna trim off a little bit of extra here and kind of the stuff you don't want. So I'm just gonna kind of clean the, the rack up a little bit. Might make some doggy treats out of those. All right, next I'm gonna trim up as much fat as I can. Uh, not too much, but the big chunks I'm gonna to try to take off there. You don't want to get rid of all of it because it actually adds a lot of flavor. But if you have big old white chunks like this, you can focus on removing those from the meat. Okay, now that I got the ribs cleaned up, I'm going to do a diagonal cross hatch on this back part right here and I'm just going to make long cuts across this membrane area and what that's going to do is it's going to allow more smoke to get into the back side of the meat right here And when you season it, it's gonna allow the seasoning to soak in a little bit more. So most people would remove this membrane, but um, I'm gonna keep it. So this is a dry rub, and I'm not really gonna suggest seasonings. You can do whatever you want, but uh, salt and pepper for sure. And then whatever you want as far as your other seasonings. Um, I'm using a Red Rocks hickory smoke seasoning from Colorado. And then I'm gonna add a zesty blend of some garlic herb into it. I think that's gonna be the perfect combo. Hopefully, we'll find out. So make sure you don't do too much salt. You might sprinkle it into your hand. If you don't have a shaker and then slowly apply it with your fingers. Too much salt, you'll dry out the meat quicker, so don't get too carried away with it. And go a little light on the pepper. And then heavier on the seasoning. And go meat side up. I should have done this on the other side, but at least I'm doing it on the meat side up. Is I'm gonna put some olive oil down as a base. And what that's gonna do is gonna help all those seasonings stick to the meat better. So I'm just gonna put a coat of olive oil on this top part. I don't think it'll be too bad on the back side. The meat side up is definitely where you want it to stick more. 
There wasn't really any meat on that back side. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I make mistakes. So. All right, once you get that slathered, repeat your seasoning method. good already. Okay, I'm going to let this set for 20 minutes. I'm going to let all the seasoning kind of soak into the meat. And while that's soaking, I'm going to fire up the grill. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Make sure you have your pellets filled all the way up. I'm a firm believer that pellet type doesn't matter. Um, I don't think it adds any extra flavor to the meat. So I just use a standard all blend type pellet. All right, when your grill's ready, fire it up. Crank this puppy up to 300. So if you have an elevated rack, perfect. If not, this is my makeshift one. I wanna get it elevated away from the burners and allow smoke to go all the way around the ribs. So this is my method for doing that. Kind of jerry-rigged. Sorry in advance. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. The seasoning's ready. The grill's at 300. Let's throw it on our top rack. I'm gonna put it meat side up. Take a look at that on the rack here. Okay, we're gonna let that set for an hour and a half and then we're gonna check on it. All right guys, time is up. I got my oven mitt on. I'm gonna grab these. Check them for see how they flex. Oh, yeah, they're, they're flexing. Got this aluminum sheet right here. I'm gonna put them on. Man, this smells so good right now. Um, I have butter and honey, and what you're gonna do is I'm going to slide this up a little bit. I'm going to slice up a full stick of butter going onto these ribs. So. Have the butter laid out in the middle of the foil. Next I'm going to put a little bit more seasoning on here just to uh, let it soak in some more. Um, I'm not going to do it as heavy as last time. Alright. Then, 
I got some raw honey I'm going to be putting on there, so this should make it taste really good. Let's stir this up first. God, that looks good. butter line you got your honey on there you got your seasoning and then you're gonna put meat side down on top of your butter right here and then finish off the top here Okay, next you want to seal it up real tight. Unfortunately, I don't have large aluminum foil. You know, the really long rolls. So this is going to be hard to wrap. I already got a tear right here. That's why I have multiple layers of aluminum. If you have the shorter version, you might go up to maybe three or four layers. I'll let you know here in a sec figure out how this wraps. I might actually wrap. I'm gonna, yeah. She's all wrapped up. The reason I did meat side down, it's down right now, which means it's on the pan, is all the meats on that side and all that juice is going to soak into that meat on the bottom side there. So that's what I got going on. And it's going to go onto the grill this way. So let's put it back on the grill. You're going to do that for about 40 minutes, roughly. Um, Anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes. I'll probably go with 40 minutes. Let's get it on the grill. Check on it. It is very hot, by the way. It smells like butter. Tastes pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna take this toothpick and kind of check it. Let's see if it goes in there like butter. It does. So we're doing pretty good so far. Alright, 
We gotta get a close up on this mate here. It looks amazing. Okay, I told the missus to go grab some barbecue sauce that she thought should, would be good on the ribs. She came home with some stubs. Sweet honey and spice. Hope it's not too much honey, but we'll see. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. So we're gonna apply that to the ribs now. I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm gonna kind of keep it a little light on the sauce. So I'll just pour this into the bowl. Just a little bit and brush it on here. My honey and my butter are still all over the ribs and that's good. You still want that on there. I can smell that honey, it smells good. Okay. A little bit more, and then we'll do the back side. All right, time to flip again. She gonna be hot. Before I flip it, I'm gonna get some of this butter and honey just glazed all over the bottom and brush that on here. Flip her down again so she's soaking in the honey and butter. And then just paint your ribs on this side right here with your sauce. In my opinion you don't need much sauce on this side because there's not very much meat so don't get too carried away with this side. Just a nice little coating right here. Okay, now you're gonna wrap it back up how it was. We're gonna throw it on the grill for 20 more minutes, then she's gonna be ready. All right, 20 minutes, it's still at 300. And then it's ready to go after that. I smell barbecue sauce, I smell honey. I think I smell butter. Try to shimmy them onto a cutting board here. Okay, next you're gonna cut them. And when you cut them, you're gonna cut meat side down because you can see the bone better on this side when you make your cut. So when you're cutting them into ribs, you can see both sides of the bone and it should make it really easy. chunk right here looks like a great taste tester get some juices on it hmm that's good 10 out of 10 right there the flavor explosion just awesome. Just awesome.
now it's time to eat. Um, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, we're going to eat uh, an apple slaw. These ribs. If you guys are interested in this apple slaw, leave a comment below. Let me know. Maybe I'll do that on camera sometime. This stuff, this apple slaw, it's really, really good. Great with hamburgers or barbecues or anything like that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please help me out by hitting the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll try to do some more cooking videos in the future. And I will see you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. As always, get outdoors and keep grilling. I'll catch you guys later.